So we're on uh, step one, I guess, of uh, catching some mackerel. I've located them uh, in an area that I like to use and it's usually pretty productive. I usually look for them in anywhere from 40 to 100 feet of water. They're usually suspended. They're pretty hard to mark, but if you look carefully, you can usually see them on if you've got a good uh, fish finder. So I've located them and now I'm dragging a mesh bag with uh, some cat food in it, kind of back over the same drift that I started and uh, hopefully I can go back over and uh, load up some more. Uh, cat food seems to work okay for the chum for the mackerel. It's like 59 cents at the grocery store. It's non-perishable. I can keep it on the boat. Just bust it out whenever I want. I don't have to be messing with uh, frozen, frozen chum. I'm just gonna go back over where I found him. Leave it in the water while I move back over the same drift. And then I'm using a uh, sabiki rod for like 60 bucks or something for a good one, but uh, definitely worth it you have to kind of cut them cut a couple hooks off to get it to fit back into the sabiki rod but uh i use a diamond jig on the end when i can sometimes you need more weight and an egg sinker definitely fits better in the in the tip but the diamond jig adds a little something uh flashy on the end and then Usually I don't like to use a hook on the end, but sometimes you come up with a cod, or I've seen stripers follow these things all the way up. But uh, usually it's, I usually cut the, cut the hook off the bottom of one of these diamond jigs so that if, when I wanna go, I got a string of mackerel and I wanna go pull them over the live well, I can just grab onto this without uh, having to worry about getting hooked.